Hi guys, during class today, Kieran asked how you do something looking like this image right here, the floral brush set. So you guys know how to do stencils, the only thing you were really missing was how to do a gradient. So I'll throw that at you and you can use what you know with stencils to counteract the brushes. Now I downloaded a brush pack similar, I haven't, I'm not going to create something as complex, but I'm going to show you how to create something similar to what this guy has done. So, starting Photoshop, we're going to add a gradient. So if you look under the paint bucket, there's a gradient tool. And at the top here, we choose what colours the gradient's coming in at. And we can actually set exactly what colours we want. Now looking at this image, we've got red, orange, yellow, green and blue. So I'm going to quite simply go for red, yellow, green and blue. And it should put the orange in automatically. So if I want to get rid of any of the colours, I can just drag them down and they disappear. If I want to move places, I just drag them over the other colour. So I want red, yellow, green and blue and roughly in quarters. And you can see in the gaps here it fills it in with the orange and all the shades in between the colours. And I click OK and it sets that gradient up. Draw a line across the screen, across the whole canvas and it makes us a gradient. So we've got the red going into the orange, the yellow, the green and the blue. If you look back at the web page, we've got pretty similar colours looking right there. Next thing I need is a new layer because I'm going to need to put some brush marks on it. So I'm going to get the brush tool and I'm going to look in my brushes and find something that stands out a bit that's quite unique. So I've got a nice flower brush here. So let's put a stamp on there. Let's grab another brush and put that over there. So that's quite simple. I've got two brushes. Let's put a third one on. Just for good measure, let's drop one a little bit smaller down towards the bottom corner, branching out into the same image. There we go, that works. That's got it all covered. So the next thing I need to do is select everything that's white. So if you remember what we did with the turtle tutorials, you need to go to select colour range, and then click in the white area. Everything in the black box on this portion of the screen that's white is what's going to be selected. So I'm going to choose a bit more of it, and I'm going to click OK. And that makes a dotted selection around everything that's white on the screen. I'm now going to make a new layer, and I want to fill everything other than the selection in white. Or for the purpose of this, I'm going to do it in black so it stands out a little bit more. So the first thing I need to do is select the inverse, and then I'm going to change the paint colours from black to the foreground. I'm going to go to Edit and Fill, and that will fill everything in black. The other thing I could use is the paint bucket and click in the dotted selection. I choose to do it this way. I'm going to click OK, I'm going to end up with a black box filling with a white outline. And then that white layer, I'm going to put it in the bin. And I'm going to go select, deselect, and you've got the gradient going through the brushes, which is exactly what they've done. Now they spend a little bit more time making all the making all the brushes look really nice and rotating the brush selection. They've probably used several layers. They made text and then they rasterized it so that they could then cut that out as a stencil as well. Quite early on in Photoshop, we all used stencils. I showed you how to make stencils, and you made some really good-looking ones. This is exactly the same process, except we've used a gradient as the background as opposed to a different image. If you want to change the way that image looks, you can select the background layer, go back to your gradient tool, and change the gradient. Let's get rid of the yellow. Let's change the red to black. So we've got black to green to blue. Click OK, and then I'm going to draw another gradient and the image should change itself quite significantly. There we go, a little bit more subtle. So that's something that you can all do. It's something that's very, very simple. The last thing we might want to do is add some effects to that top layer. If we put an inner shadow in maybe, make it yellow. I'm not overly sure whether that's going to do anything. Let's have a look. There we go. Tweak the distance just slightly, just to give it that little bit of edge, a little bit of depth. Hit the distance back one. Alright, so we've brought that stencil out from the background now. So it's still a stencil, just a couple of effects over the top. Really easy, any of you can do it. If somebody else has an idea of something they want to know how to do, throw it up on the Facebook or on the YouTube page and it will be right there for you. Enjoy.